Yeah, it was definitely a nail biter though. Yeah, so Void's looking to come back with a little bit of revenge tonight, right? So yep. should be awesome. Should be awesome. Cheek dead was huh? It's gonna be great. <laughs> Starting off with little needle camp. Oh my god. They're really feeling it in the background. So yeah, they are. Not my cup of tea, but uh, let's get this focus on this match. Right. That was really good what Void did there on the platform, doing the forward tilt, and then retreating back with just a nair, just to make sure that he's safe. Great combos right here. Ooh. <laughs> Intense exchange there on the power shield. Yeah. Very even game. Favorite and avoid 59% 95. And the thing is, like in a Sheik Ditto, you really, really want to get the first dog. When you get the first dog, like it puts you in a bigger lead than if you were against any other character because she wrecks up so much damage so fast. And she has this guaranteed uh, four throws to down B. Just like that. Or just, uh, yep. Absolutely. Nice back kick. I feel like one important thing to mention here is that both players are very much in control of Sheik. So they, they know the guarantees, they know when to kill at what percentages and whatnot, so... Absolutely, yeah. yeah. they're toying each other right now until they're both in kill percent, and they're gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. It's super close, 116 and 118 right now. Oh, wow. when he catches him with the up air out of the bouncing fish, that <laughs> was incredible. crazy. That was That's my first time ever seeing that. Yeah. But see, what I was gonna say is that since they both know the characters so well, mm -hmm. they know... They're gonna have to catch each other off guard to kill each other. Right. You know what I mean? Just like that. Bouncing yep. fish, up air out of his bouncing fish. Yep, because like you said earlier too, they know Sheik so well anyways, so they know what the other person is capable of. Exactly. So it's gonna be really, really crucial to try to mix it up. Nice double tilt to grab right there. That person that makes it up the most is gonna win this set. Yep. yep. 27 to 45% in favor of Void. Ooh, nice catching boy with the jabs. Yep. Even it up again. <laughs> Taking a page out of Zero's book, throwing them needles. <laughs> nice narrow. Nice, great patience by K9. Definitely. Not even going in, just waiting to see what he does. Just collecting some data right now. Fantastic. Guaranteed see, with that, that read, he, he's pulled away now, over 50%. Oh yeah, my oh, god! But the sweet spot on the up smash. Yeah, but he caught him on that platform. That was crucial. Yeah. Like right here with Rage and with him at 94 right now. Oh, that's going to end kill. it? Yep, oh it's gonna my kill. god. Especially Boyd coming back. Man. Pretty ridiculous. See what happened there is um, that platform catching K9 mm -hmm. pushed all the momentum in favor of Boyd. Yeah. So as a result, he ended up losing that stock. Yeah, because you never really want to be from coming from the sky already, let alone if he already took a second jump. Oh no, he didn't. No, he was already on the platform. But still, trying to come back on top of Sheik is really hard because her up air with that high percentage, yeah. easy kill. It's gonna result in death. So one, the the score is one void, zero K9. This is best of five, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, oh my gonna try to end beautiful it? string! That was great. And he almost gets him with the vanish too. K9 is not messing around right now. He knows that he was so close to the last game. He wants this one. Right. He's gonna be looking at apply the pressure. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice patience. Great patience. Again, another grab. We're gonna see a bounce it. No. Oh, nice grab. needles. Shield yep. Grab. Nice shield grab. Because K9 was looking to punish that forward air on Void, but mm -hmm. he knew that he was up top, and that's one of the most common approaches that Sheiks do from above is they come down with a quick pair. Is that a kill? Oh, oh my God! That he had D the lightning. I, yeah. If if Void didn't hit that corner at that second, he would have died. Yeah. Most players would die off the top in that situation. Mm -hmm. Great DI. Almost gets him again. Ooh. Oh, wow. This movement right now is crazy. Yeah, cutting off Void's recovery with that uh, up air to bouncy fish. Is that going to kill? Yes, wow. it is. Okay. Nice. K9 covering all options. 
Nice. Beautiful strength. Like I said, they're very familiar and they know their, their guarantees. Yep. And again, he has a first stock now, so now he has, has to rack up damage, and Sheik is so great at doing that. Oh, the bouncing fish. Great DI. Great Ooh, DI. returning the DI. Not going down. And oh. that's gonna, yep, yep, that's gonna end Yeah, it. that's gonna finish, especially on Smashville. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this stage. Why did K9 die on Smashville? Why did K9 die on Smashville? Yeah. Well, I, I didn't... Okay. I don't know, so Grand Final is the Resurrection Bracket? Yeah, for those that don't know that are watching right now, Resurrection Bracket is for everybody that got eliminated out of the tournament. That's Winner's Bracket and Loser's Bracket. They had the chance to pay $2 to do a single elimination and winner takes all. So we're going to be streaming that one after this Winner's Finals. Yeah, I tried to sneak in on that tournament. They didn't let me. A little too late? Uh, yeah, um, I mean, I because I wasn't in the main tournament, they didn't let me mm -hmm. play in, in the Resurrection Bracket. Anyway, this is very close. Yeah. Void coming Void back. Void bringing actually. her back. Yeah. Oh, nice retaliation with the Nair. The Nair is such a safe move. It's great on the uh, covering the edge as well. Great turnaround for the grab. Oh, Almost gets the up air. Yeah. Getting again to the wire. 109, 113. Oh, 113. Oh, and Void comes back again. He's very much in control of that game. I feel like Kanai just wanted to close it out too fast. Yeah, he wanted to end it. Yeah, he he, he felt comfortable in his lead, but against a player of Void's caliber, you, you just can't do that. Right. Yeah. You got to be on your toes the Always. entire match against somebody like Void. Yep. All right, this is game three. Void takes this. He's sending uh, he's sending K9 to the losers bracket. Nobody wants to see that though. I want to see some hype. Yeah, very close, very here. close in that game. Like I always have to tell myself when I'm down, it's not over till it's over. Oh, definitely. Oh, that was. Yeah. Nice fair to jab, and then he retreats back to. Can I getting the damage? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So I mean, Kana and showing why. He won the tournament last week right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just it's just those little mistakes that are, are screwing him over on game one and two. Mm -hmm. It's just hard sometimes because with Sheik, you have to be aggressive, but at the same time, you have to be, be patient and smart. Yep. You have to know when to go and when to be aggressive. And then when you're being patient, like Void is right now, just kind of walking around, waiting for him to come down, that's when you go on the aggressive. Which goes for almost any character, to be honest. If you're, if you're too overly aggressive and you don't know oh, when nice to take nice your opportunities, you know, something like that is going to happen. I'm sorry, continue what you were saying, Ben? No, I, I don't know. I forgot. I just saw somebody in the chat. Oh. Smashville 3. Yeah, it's... It, you know what? Um, a lot of times when you do see repeats and stages like this, it's because the players already know each other. Right. They feel they don't feel the need to try and jank somebody on a counter pick and whatnot. Like Smashville is a very neutral stage. It is. You know, they, they if they both like Battlefield, they'd be playing Battlefield three times in a row. It's just it's just how it goes. Yeah, and so many players, so many top tier players for that matter, they always choose Smashville. Smashville is just the stage to go, and Void shuts it out with the two stock. Yeah, City King yeah. into the bracket. But again, it's not over till it's over. Uh, what was your name, man? I, I just came on right when the game was started. Yeah, uh, Reggie K. Reggie K. Yeah. Marcus. Uh, I go by Shinobi, though, or Shinobi Rush. Yeah. I used to actually stream for MSM when I was back in Bellflower. I used to run uh, Smash Entity. Okay. Yeah, Smash Entity, we were an entertainment company. We are hosting tournaments out in uh, at Umba, and we are doing tournaments at, at Turtle Tea. Unfortunately, we had to go on hiatus. Okay. Uh, mainly because, me personally, I had... Uh, you know, a family business to help with, and then I had to go focus on school. And actually, tomorrow I have uh, entry exam.